Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're going to make the most delicious apple pie. Cause it's the all-free whole food plant-based cooking show. So it is officially fall, and when I think of fall, I think of apple pie. And we happen to live in North Carolina where the apples are in season right now, and they're just the best apples here. And of course, my favorite is Honeycrisp. So that's what we're using today. You don't have to use Honeycrisp. You can really use any type of apple that you like. That just happens to be my favorite. So that's what we're gonna use. So we're just gonna jump right in and we're gonna start with our apples first. But we're gonna, I've already chopped up, uh, this is about five cups worth of apples, which was about four and a half apples. Um, but we're gonna set those aside for just a second and we're gonna make the sauce first. So I have a one cup of pitted dates, one cup of water, the juice of half, half of a lemon, which is probably about, about a tablespoon, maybe just a little less than a tablespoon. and then two teaspoons of cinnamon. And there's that autumn flavor, cinnamon. It's just gonna fill your house with that wonderful smell while it's baking. All right, so we're just gonna blend this up until, it's, until there's no more date chunks. Okay, there we go. And I've got my saucepan ready here. So we're just gonna pour our apples in. And we're gonna pour the sauce in and stir it into them. Because we're gonna cook these for just a bit, just to soften them a little bit. If you try to cook these, you can cook apple pie just raw, but this apple pie isn't gonna have a crust on the top. So there's no way to keep that steam in that's gonna help to cook those apples. So we're gonna pre-cook them just a little bit while we're making some of our other parts. So I'm gonna put this back on the stove and then I'm gonna get our ingredients out to start the crust. Okay, so while our apples are cooking back on the stove, we're gonna let them cook on medium high for about 10 minutes, which is about as much time as it's gonna take us for this crust. So you're gonna need a food processor um, I've got two cups of almond meal here. And a fourth of a cup of pitted dates. Two tablespoons of flax meal. And one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We're just gonna pulse this so that we can get those dates really well incorporated. And when it's done, it's gonna kind of clump together and the dates are gonna be just teeny little pieces in there. Okay, so now you see that the dates are all pulverized and we're just gonna use about two tablespoons of water. So while it's on, we're gonna add that. There we go, perfect. So if you can see that, and it's just, it's kind of sticky, it sticks together pretty well. So now onto our pie plate. So we are just going to lightly grease our pie, pie plate because the crust will stick a little bit. It doesn't stick really bad, but this is just gonna help it to keep it from sticking. You don't need very much, just a real light coat. And this part, this next part, you're gonna get a little bit sticky. 
because we are going to press this pie crust down into it with our hands. This isn't the typical pie crust that you would roll out on the countertop and then flop it in there because this doesn't have any flour in it, which would make it stick together better. So we're just going to plop it out into there. And you're just going to keep pressing until it's all the way flat in the bottom and then you want to bring it up just like a regular pie crust up onto the sides and then press down the edges just a little bit to make it a little bit prettier. So I'm going to take a little break and I'm going to stir my apples and then I'm going to finish up here. Okay, there we go. So it's pressed up so that you're probably about an inch to an inch and a half up the sides because that's how high those apples are going to come up. Okay, so I have my oven preheated to 350 and we're going to stick this in the oven for 10 minutes. But first you're going to poke the bottom with a fork just to create some uh, air holes so that it doesn't create any bubbles on the bottom. So we're just going to stick that in for 10 minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded which means these free weekly recipe videos are made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. We create this show to share all of the delicious plant-based recipes we use in our own family kitchen with the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world. Our supporting memberships offer great perks like access to our eBooks and in-depth courses, including our 28-day plant-based made easy course where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. If you love our content, please join us on our mission to share this life-changing message with the world and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so while the crust is cooking, I've turned my apples off because they're perfectly done. Uh, we are gonna make the crumble that's gonna go on the top of the pie. It is so delicious, I love it. So this is just one cup of walnuts, a half a cup of pitted dates, and you will need your food processor for this, a half a cup of rolled oats, and the juice of half of a lemon. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're just going to pulse this until it gets to, you know, little teeny crumbles. It's going to stick together just slightly, but it, you just want it to be crumbly to go on the top, but not completely dry crumbly. That's why we put the lemon juice. So just pulse it until you, I'll show you what it looks like. see what this looks like. It's just crumbly, slightly sticky. There might be some bigger chunks, chunks of dates in there still. You can just take those, you know, take them out and just tear them a little bit and that'll be just fine. You could also leave them too. Those chunks of dates are just delicious. So now we're just waiting on our crust to finish and then we'll put all of our elements together and bake. Okay, so our crust is out of the oven. Our apples are done. We only have to add one more thing to the apples. Because there's so much juice that comes out of the apples, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of cornstarch to a quarter of a cup of water. Oops. No. Stir that up. You want to stir this first to make sure it's really well mixed. Because if you just put the cornstarch straight into the apples, you're going to have these little clumps of cornstarch in there 
and it'll be just like these little beads of starch in there. It'll be lumpy. Okay, so now it's really nice. I'm just gonna pour that in there and stir it into those hot apples. And that's gonna create that really nice thick sauce that's gonna just keep all of those apples glued together. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour that into our pan. Make sure we get all of those wonderful little apples out of there. And then just push them down into the corners of the pie, the crust. Okay, and now for the crumble. So this you're just gonna sprinkle on with your hands. You just wanna get it over the entire top. And yes, we're gonna use all of it because it's that good. Okay. And our oven is still on 350. So, just gonna press that down just a little bit, just so that it gets down kind of glues itself into the apples just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna put that back in the oven for about 30 minutes, and you'll just have to check it at about 25 minutes and check your the color of your crust. And if you feel like it's getting too dark, you can always drape a piece of foil over the top of that, and that will keep that crust from burning. So 35 minutes. Okay guys, here it is, golden brown. It smells amazing. I can't wait to dig in. But right now I'm gonna get a plate and I'll meet you at the table. Okay, time for the taste, guys. Now just cross your fingers that I'm gonna be able to get this piece of pie out, this first piece of pie out without it falling to pieces. We will see. It is kind of a crumbly type of pie, so. Okay, so far so good. All right, almost got it all out. That last little bit out of there. Mmm, 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 mmm. Boy, that smells good. Mmm. Ooh, still pretty hot. Mmm. Oh, the apples are perfect. Those honey crisp apples are kind of tart but with the date mixture and the sweetness from the crumble on the top, the walnuts, mm. you are gonna love this. So be sure to give this video a like and I'll see you next time.